Hey, happy Wednesday, everybody. Sean coming at you from high level. So this is an awesome enhancement on the uh, communities front. So basic, uh, basically, this is around gamification. So the idea is we've introduced new functionality to kind of help you automate the assignment of gamification points through workflows and automations. And so inside communities, you uh, if, if you haven't checked this out, obviously go to help.gohighlevel.com and search communities and learn all about it. But there's this whole point system and gamification inside uh, of communities. But sometimes you might want to add or give points or even take points away, maybe, I don't know, but add points for different activities that are maybe not just the ones that are inside the app. So like right now, I think if you like post or comment or something, you can give points. But what if you wanted to give points for some other activity? You can now do this using workflows, which is very, very cool. So first up, um, there's a couple of things that have been added. So one is a trigger around group member leaderboard level change. So this is kind of cool. So if like somebody changes the uh, leaderboard level that they're on, you can actually do something. So you might want to like say, send them an email like congratulations, you you know you did this, or or you give them a prize, or you can do all kinds of cool stuff. So that's awesome. Um, so that's on the trigger side. You can see this right here. And then actions grant community uh, group leadership points. So you can automatically add spec a specified number of points to that user based on whatever it is that you want. So you, um, here is an example of the trigger um, and you can filter like what group it's in obviously because that's gonna be important. And also you can uh, do it on levels. So you can have different workflows for different levels. So if it's like, hey, you've, you know, you've achieved level one or whatever it is, you know, welcome, congratulations. Like you can really customize uh, all of the communications there. And as you can see right here, you're able to add points uh, on the action. And again, that allows you to do a lot of really cool things. Uh, let's see here. You can find this obviously in the workflow triggers. Just search the word community. You can't miss it. Uh, let's see if there's anything else here. And then obviously same thing under actions, same deal. Uh, things to note for leaderboard action, points will not be granted if the user is not part of the selected group. Um, that obviously makes sense, I guess. If I'm not in the group and you try to give me points, how does that make sense? Okay. Um, also enhancements, let's see, non-registered users can now cannot view location details without registering first. Um, enhance the upcoming live event, highlight notification on the discussion tab. Uh, now only agency users can activate GoCloud Marketplace for existing locations, added footer. Okay, you can read all this. And then as usual, we are always fixing bugs behind the scenes. You can take a look at the bug fixes here. Um, and then of course, what is next? So we've got lock courses via gamification, announcement channels, a school importer is coming, and then we also have a new UI for the learning tab. So anyways, on that note, I hope you're having an amazing Wednesday and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.